So today I want to talk to you a little bit about a new tool that's been included in QuickBooks 2014 to help you monitor and track those transactions related to your customers and your revenue stream. So prior to 2014, if you wanted to look up transactions related to your customers, get a feel for you know what invoices are outstanding, what might be overdue. You know, there's a several different reports you could look at to kind of pull this all together. If I come into my customer center, I could look up the customer I was interested in, look at their balance details, and filter by open transactions, and see for that one specific customer what's outstanding. But it doesn't give me a look at everyone. If I really want to get a feel for where I'm at on on my collections in my accounts receivable or just my general sales, so. I could, of course, go to my um, transaction detail for the accounts receivable and try and wade through all of this, but again, there's a lot of data there. So some reports had been created, um, like I could look at my collections report if I wanted to see what was out overdue, but I'm wading through report after report after report. What I really wanted to see is a dashboard, something that I could just look at quickly and get a feel for the whole scope of things. That's been introduced with 2014. So if I come up to customers and look at the income tracker, I now get this dashboard. And it's color coded to help me easily look at the different elements of my revenue stream. So over here on the far side, I've got uh, estimates and sales orders. These are things that are not yet billed. They're non-posting transactions. So they're things that help me understand what's coming in my pipeline, but maybe what's not actually been billed or recorded as revenue yet. So I've got $51,954 sitting out there in estimates that might become something in the near future. And then I've got 98000 in sales orders that have been committed, but we haven't actually billed them yet. So that's kind of coming down the stream soon kind of like a work in process. And then over here, I've got my unpaid section. So I've got eight open invoices at $94,346.80, one of which is overdue at $17,250. So I know that I need to check on that and maybe collect on that. And then over here, it shows me what's been paid in the last 30 days, which is zero right now. So I've got plenty coming down the pipeline. I've got quite a bit sitting in an unpaid status and I'm not getting anything paid yet. So now I want to dive into this unpaid section a little more closely. Like maybe I want to know which invoice is overdue right now. I can actually just click on any element of this uh, income tracker and it will automatically filter by whatever I've clicked on. So now I can see that one overdue account from uh, Dunning's pool and I can give them a call. Actually I can come down here to my select actions and I can print it, I can email it, I can receive payment. You know, there's several different things that I can do with that in particular transaction. Now maybe I want to zoom back out and look at everything again. I can come up here and clear the filter that I've set by clicking on overdue and it brings me back to everything. And I can just kind of scroll through each of the different elements and look at what I've got in my uh, income stream and the idea is to start things off to the left hand side and work them all the way to paid and this gives me a very visual way to help me do that so I make sure that things are flowing along in this process and not getting stuck like this overdue transaction so that's just kind of a brief overview of the income tracker if you haven't started using that and you're running QuickBooks 2014 I would highly recommend looking into that tool and it's a really great way to help you manage your revenue stream and make sure that things are flowing along to paid in a timely manner.